The first upper-level word study activity involves the study of Y, L-Y, and I-L-Y suffixes. These eight students are learning about base words and how suffixes change spelling and meaning. And we made this chart up here. Let's take a look at it. I remember that Yvonne had noticed that some of the words that we were reading had a Y ending on them. Ms. Barron starts with words students have seen in their reading. Working from Yvonne's observation, they create a chart of Y words. Ms. Barron reviews the two columns of Y words. Column here. Robert. The second column has a Y and the first column doesn't? Yeah, so we have words like lace becoming lacy and wind becoming windy. Do you remember that now, Anna? And then when after we finish collecting this whole list, we put some words up here, words like candy. Now that they've talked about their observations with these words, Ms. Behrens brings the idea of base words into the discussion. Fernando, do you remember? Because it don't make sense if you take the Y out. Okay, so let's try that on one of those words. Like if I take the word nasty and I take the Y off, what do I get? Nasty. It's not a base word, is it? We can't use it for building another word. So I want to take a look at these words over here. What do you notice that's the same about all of these words? When you look at them, you see something very similar. What do you notice, Anna? They, have, they all have a Y. They all have a Y at the end. Is there anything else you notice about these words? Yvonne? And also they have L-Y. That's right. There are two different categories. There's Y the way we studied it, and also that other ending L-Y that we began to talk about. Can somebody give me a word here that ends only with Y? Robert, what's one that you see? Um, pretty. Okay, I'm going to put pretty up here. Can anybody give me a word that ends with L-Y? It's different from this Y ending. What do you see, David? Good. Let's use that as our keyword at the top here, that L-Y ending. How about you, Robert? Slowly. Yeah, where is slowly? Right there. Dynamite. Another one. Casey. Look at that more. What about the word nasty? Goes with a Y. Goes with a Y right here. Okay. Let's read these and double check and see if everybody agrees with what we've got so far. Ready? Next, Ms. Barron establishes another sort and column. Students look for words that have a base word plus Y and those in which there is not a base word before the Y. They will contrast a word like rocky with a word like pretty. So now I want us to examine the words in this column. Are these words that have a base word inside? Let's start with the very first word. What's our first word here? Pretty. 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 If I take off the Y, what do I have? Pretty. Is that a word that has a base word in it? No. So I'm going to stick that here over in this column here by itself, and I'm going to put no base word right there. Let's take a look at the second word in that column. Worry. 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 Take off the Y. Worry. What do you see? Worry. So where are we going to put this? No. No. Okay, I'm going to hand it to you, Anna. You're going to be my helper. All right, let's look at the next word. What have we got? Rock. Ah, Rock. and if you take it off, what do you get? Rock. Good. So this one is really a, a base word with the Y on it, just like there. So it says, like a rock, full of rocks. Okay, how about this one? Lays. Lays. So we noticed that everything here had a Y on it, and everything here had an L-Y on it. And this part over here, there was no base word, even though they had a Y on it. Ms. Barron has the group examine what happens to the base word when the suffix is added. The extension activity will build off of this chart. So now I'm going to give you guys a very hard task. I'm going to see if you can help me do it. I want to choose words off of here that the base word changed when I put the suffix on. Can you help me find a word that changed? Did watery change when I put on the Y? Yes. yes. Did it? Yes. But now if I take off the Y, what, how is it spelled? Water. Just regularly, isn't it? So we are having to remember that when we put a suffix on, we are going to always eyeball our words to see if they change spelling. Now, I would like to make a list of that right here, the words that changed. Could you help me out by looking this list over again? Just the Y. Ms. Barron gives the students instructions to make a list of words that change. Down. Give me the base word for easy, Yvonne. Tell me what I'm going to do here. Now, remember, this was that tricky one. Do you guys remember what um, Casey said about easily it and the base ease. word? 
Ease. Isn't that interesting? How would I spell ease? E A S E. All right, let me get it. E A S E. Now, I'm going to put a Y on that. How am I going to spell that? E A S E. A S I. No, I'm just going to put the Y on it first. And I'm going to get what word? Easy. Easy. Now, what is the suffix that we were looking the at? Letters spelled different. I know. L-Y. L-Y. Ah, what? How was the spelling different because I put on the L Y? Justin. Um, e A S I L Y. Excellent job. All right. So here's what I'd like you to do. Look then Ms. Barron directs me, instruction to the E drop column. Let's start with noisy. What was the change from noise to noisy? Robert? You have to drop the E. Good. I'm going to write that up here. How about the change from lazy to lazy? Anna? Drop the E. Dropping the E. And what about in the last word there? What did we see? What was the change? Dalen, did you find it? What about this one? This one to this one. What was the first change? For easy and easily, mm-hmm. um, you drop the Y to an I. Right, we changed the Y to an I, so I'll put that one down. Okay, and what was the other change from here to here? What did we do? Yvonne? You dropped the E. Sure, we went from ease to easy. easy. Okay, and so change number, actually, this is change number two, isn't it? And the first change was that we dropped the E. Okay, I want you to remember with me that why when you put it on a word means like. So if I'm on a road that is rocky, it's a road that feels like it has lots of rocks in it. If I'm Notice how Ms. Barron works on vocabulary development. She explores grammatical functions in this discussion of these Y and I-L-Y suffixes. But here, this means that I'm doing it in the manner of, or tells me how I am doing it. And when we meet next time, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to... Integrating reading and word study, Ms. Barron introduces a word hunt as an independent reading assignment. And I'm going to ask you to do a word hunt where we find L-Y endings. These students are on their way to understanding the Y, L-Y, and I-L-Y endings. They will continue to explore easy suffixes in this manner. You guys were absolutely great.